physics teacher like me, then you have to teach Newton's laws. And this you should do in the original context in which they were presented, the motion of the planets and the stars. In the book, Newton distinguishes between the two types of mechanics, practical mechanics, which is maybe fixing windmills, and rational mechanics, which is the motion of the heavens. And his thesis is that the laws of nature on Earth also apply in the heavens. So let's take another look at Newton's laws from the correct perspective, that of celestial mechanics. First law. Objects like planets will continue in their state of motion, straight line at constant speed, unless acted on by a force, like gravity, which would bend them into a curve. Now, we rarely see this on Earth, because there's always friction acting on the objects, but there are some circumstances in which we can remove friction. One of these situations is dry ice, and another is floating air hockey pucks. Second law. The alteration of motion is ever proportional to the motive force impressed and is made in the direction of the right line in which that force is impressed. In a typical Newton's second law demonstration, a fan cart will be allowed to accelerate across the table. and then mass is added to show that it increases the inertia. Now that's a great demonstration, but I got another one for you. In our physics classes, we often overemphasize acceleration or changes of speed when we should be emphasizing alterations of motion. For example, changes of direction. Circular motion is a good example of an alteration of motion. And when the force stops, the object goes off in a straight line at constant speed. Third law. For every action force, there is a reaction force, equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. For example, his words, when you press your finger to a stone, your finger is also pressed by that stone. Now, one of the best ways to demonstrate Newton's third law is with a pair of scales. Hook a pair of scales together, and you'll notice that they always seem to pull with the same force. Or, you can hand it to a student and say, you pull with 20 newtons, I'll pull with 10 newtons. And this is impossible to do. Check it out. These are scales calibrated in newtons. You can put them together and measure that the force is the same on both of them. Or you can just weigh yourself like you would on any other scale. It teaches that your weight is a force, measured in newtons. I hope you found this video insightful. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. A new video will be posted every month, so if you enjoyed watching this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this link right here. And check out some of our other cool videos. If you like watching this one, give us a thumbs up. For more information on the products used in this video, click this link right here.